Hi, this is Charles 9mm, and I got a great product to show you today. Hopefully, all the products that we show you are great. Uh, I try to only show you good quality products. And I think this is also a good quality product that I'm showing you today. This is another knife uh, by CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool. And you know that I'm a big fan of Columbia River Knife and Tool for a lot of different reasons. One is you get quality knives, very, very good quality knives, and they're quite inexpensive. And that's what I really like about CRKT is it really puts everyone within reach of a good quality knife. If you uh, just got a few few bucks, save up a few bucks, you don't have to drop a whole paycheck on a knife. This is very, very good knife I'm going to show you today. This one's designed by Matthew Lurch. Um, let me just say that CRKT has been using a lot of famous and well-known uh, uh, designers, knife designers, which has been great because not only are the knives within uh, a very economical range, but they're also using some of the best designers in the business as well. And uh, this has been true for a while now, and they've been really, really successful at it. I want to show you the one today called the Moxie, the Moxie folding knife. And this uses their fire safe outburst system. Um, what this has is you notice there's no, there's no, uh, this, the stud is on the blade, but you cannot open, you cannot open the knife just by pushing the stud. And I'll show you in a second. Close it up. Uh, what I just did when I fired it, and this is going to have to watch this, is the stud I have to push it in. Do you see that? See it go in? And at the same time I push it, just like that, and it pops open. Now you're going to, some of you are going to say, hey, isn't that a switchblade? Well, yes and no. Um, the thing is, a switchblade by the federal uh, law definition is a knife that has a spring-loaded uh, uh, activating system by being activated by a button on the handle. There is no button on this handle. And yes, it is what you call a spring-assisted blade. Because one is you do have to move the blade, uh, or maybe, oh, maybe a couple, maybe a millimeter? And then, boom. I mean, just a very short distance, and it pops open. Now, when you do get this open, you get a really beautiful spear point blade, this, uh, this Matthew Lurch designed blade. And it is the 8CR14MOV uh, blade, which is uh, very nice, very nice steel. It's, a, it's another, it's another, um, uh, stainless steel, but they put a, they put a coating on it. Uh, this is a um, uh, very beautiful type of coating that they put on this. It seems to be very good. I'm I'm really not sure what this this uh, surface treatment is. There's a lot of different surface treatments out today, but I couldn't get this one to scratch. I'm sure it can be scratched, but it looks like it's going to take a lot of work to scratch it, which I really like. Oftentimes when I see a knife painted black, I'm thinking they're hiding something, but I really couldn't see uh, many machining flaws on this. The machining was quite beautiful. In other words, this is just to keep uh, the reflectivity down for whatever purposes uh, that you might need to keep the reflectivity down. Uh, it also protects the blade a little bit more as well. I really like this shape blade. The one reason is because it is a very practical shape blade. You can uh, peel apples with it. You can cut sticks with it. Things like that. You can cut rope with it. It's not just a self-defense knife that has no other purposes other than just to uh, stick it in flesh. This one has uh, is some very good and uh, positive uh, uh, applications because of the shape it really lends itself to a lot of different things so I think this is probably close to a an ideal uh, blade shape as you can get um, when this is open by the way this the the blade is 3.29 inches long and uh, it is about uh, 0.1 inch thick a tenth about a tenth of an inch thick uh, it is uh, overall when it's open it's seven and a half inches long and the closed length is uh, when it's all closed up is 4.23 inches and the total weight of this knife can you guess it 
3.2 ounces. Very, very, very nice. Very beautiful. Um, very easy. It's got a clip. It's a one position clip. The clip cannot be removed. It keeps in this position, which will be in a tip down position in your pocket. But look at that clip. I really like that clip. It's a very positive clip. It's very big. Uh, it won't tear your clothes up too badly. I've got a lot of worn out corners of pockets because it was just too narrow and too tight. And, and it looks like they've thought this one out very well. Uh, it really stays on nicely. I found it very comfortable. didn't even know it was there. Uh, the the handle is a um, is, is is a plastic type handle. It's supposed to be an EDM finish, PP textured TPI, TPE double injection molded PP uh, TPE. Um, I really like this this fire safe system and the outburst system. The fire safe and outburst is the bu the button uh, on the blade and the launch system really is great very durable very positive liner lock and in, in there I found it it hits dead center really dead center if you watch that uh, very easy to close I can even close it with one hand love this knife this is the CRKT Moxie I think uh, you'll like it and I think you'll be surprised at the price check it out I think you'll love it as uh, as you would with all CRKT knives they have something for everyone and a great little lanyard loop. Look at that. I really like that. It's not just a hole. It's a really big, nice, big loop for those of you who like to put a big lanyard on it. Um, check it out. I really think it's a great knife. Uh, take care. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.